part something. I should have checked. I think part probably five or six of What If Deku Was the Avatar. Uh, if you don't like this series, I'm sorry. This is just the way I see it going in my head. Like how Bakugo and the others have bending. I'm sorry about that. But this is the way I keep seeing it go in my head. So we left off with the hero versus villain uh, battle. We are at the USJ attack for this part. So I believe that day they're picking class representatives. Which it's going to be the same. Ida gets picked with Deku in the uh, probably... What was it second? I think it was second in command, basically. Basically, all that happens the same. The, uh, the uh, media still gets into the school trying to find All Might. But we go to the we go to the bus ride. The girls are still curious about the uh, the other guys' quirks, basically. So they ask what, ev what all the guys can do. Yamoshi says, or not Yamoshi, you're, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to call him Yamoshi now because I don't remember his name. Basically the wind guy, I'm gonna call him Yamoshi from now on because I forgot his name. He explains that he doesn't really have any advanced level of bending besides flying. He can make stronger gusts of wind with fans that he has on his hero suit, but that's really it. Then we go to Baku. He says that there are two uh, advanced levels of his quirk, but he's only able to use one because there's no one to teach him how to use the second part. And this, and the other one is super dangerous. One of the only people to be able to use that part blew off parts of uh, uh, their arm and their leg. And he says there are two, well, uh, two advanced versions, which is uh, lightning and combustion. And they ask what combustion is. He says it's just when you concentrate hard enough to make an explosion with your mind using your fire, but it's such a rare trait that most are not able to do it. Not only that, that it's so dangerous, barely anyone has been able to do it. There are only two people that he's been told of that have been able to do it. Then we go to uh, Karashima. He says there are two advanced levels of his quirk, which is metal and lava. But he's only able to do metal. He's able to control the particles of earth, basically just rock, that are in the metal to use the metal. There's only, he says there's only one type of metal he can bend, which is platinum. Because it's such a pure metal. Then we go on to uh, Todoroki. Todoroki uh, says that he can bend water. The advanced levels of it are ice and, uh, what is it, ice and healing. He can use the water to heal others. He doesn't mention blood bending because he hasn't really perfected it and it's only as a last resort. And then they ask Deku if he's able to do all of that. He says yes, but since he's able to bend all four elements, he thinks he may be able to do both combustion bending as well, lava bending, and metal bending as well. He's, he says he might be able to do all of those, but he doesn't know because he's still learning just the basic ones because he's been focusing on all four which takes a lot of time to learn all four while the others only had to learn one so we skip to the usj they are uh they are the attack the attack goes the same how everyone's separated deku doesn't feel like fighting at all but during this time, Deku's observing the enemies. He can feel the same type of energy within uh, Bakugo, Kurishima, Todoroki, uh, Yamoshi. He can feel the 
energy that is in them once they were given their bending within everyone else that has quirks. And if you were to take the bending away from one of the other four, then that energy would be gone. The reason I'm saying energy is because uh, for Bakugo, he has to use life energy. He has to use his chi that powers his fire. And you can feel basically that we're saying that everyone has chi except people who don't have quirks or not, who aren't benders. But once he gives them that, the chi, he's able, they're able to use it. So they're separated. Deku and Sue are in the uh, water. Mineta's not in this because he didn't make it into Class 1A because Yamoshi made it in. He, uh, since he's in the water, he just freezes the surface level of the water. Of the water. Like, he makes a small, sorry. He makes a small little, uh, tornado of water, which he's in, and he starts freezing the water around him. So he makes part of the water ice next uh, he lands on the ice and he starts freezing the water around him until he gets to the boat. He gets on the boat. Sue's there and she asks what the plan is. Deku says the plan is he's going to freeze as much water as he can in this area so they can get on it, get on it and leave. He does this. He freezes as much water as he can, which he's still, he's not very good at it like, uh, like Todoroki, because Todoroki only had a master one element, like I said, he's been trying to master all four. So, he's been learning to do this, and water was the last element he learned. So, it's, uh, air is still his worst, because it's the opposite of his, uh, earth, but he's still, uh, better with his water. So, he's still trying, oof, he's still trying to freeze. So, he's running around the ice, freezing as much as he can, sliding, trying to freeze the water. He gets a good amount, and he, uh, he, he gets Sue, and they go to land. By the time they get there, it's about the same time as the original anime. Aizawa's getting hurt. Shigaraki tells the Nomu, or, well, Shigaraki, I think, goes into a portal that goes to Deku and tries to grab Sue. Deku, uh, Deku without realizing, immediately uh, moves an earth pillar to hit Shigaraki in the stomach. This does hit Shigaraki. It catches him off guard a little. Because he, from what he saw, he thought he could only uh, do water as his, uh, as his court. He can control water or freeze water. So, he's surprised by this, and then he orders the Nomu to attack. The Nomu wasn't paying attention because it was still playing with Aizawa. Az Aizawa. Oh, I can't pronounce the name anymore. Aizawa. And it didn't have time to react to catch the pillar because Deku wasn't slow enough to throw a punch. Instead, he did a small, quick pillar to Shigaraki's gut. So, after this, Shigaraki orders the Nomu to kill the kids and Shigaraki goes back to where Kurigiri is. And the Nomu is after Deku and Sue, but before they can react, Deku grabs Sue before the Nomu could hit either of them and jumps back into the water. They're in water. They're not on the ice, they're in the water. Deku starts swimming Sue to the other side where she'll be safe. By the time he gets there and he goes back to the other side, the Nomu's gone. He is attacking uh, other, he is back to where Azawa is, way, uh, about to attack him again, when Deku immediately uses his whips, his metal whips, to grab the Nomu's arms, and then, uh, get the Nomu stuck, like, its lower body stuck in earth. He encases its lower body in earth, and ties up its arms with his metal whips. Slowly but surely, the Nomu is breaking out of the metal whips. And when he does, he slowly starts tearing apart the rock. By this time, Ida has left. They're about almost... 
they're already on their way back, but they're not going to make it in time. Because at this point, uh, let's say Kirishima, Bakugo, Yamoshi, and uh, Todoroki are all where Deku is. They're, they're getting prepared to fight. When the Nomu breaks out, he release, uh, Deku releases the whips because the Nomu is just going to break them. They'll prepare to fight. And the Nomu, in an instant, because we know how fast the Nomu is. It's as fast as All Might, basically. So, it breaks. Not breaks. It punches uh, Kirishima in the stomach, sending him flying. Then it goes after Bakugo. Bakugo immediately sets uh, the area around him on fire. Not hurting Todoroki, Deku, or Yamoshi, but just trying to get the Nomu. It doesn't do much to the Nomu. It hurts the Nomu, yes. But it doesn't do much because it keeps healing. In this instant, uh, it grabs, uh, the Nomu grabs Bakugo and flings him to the other side of the, uh, to the other side of the, well, the USJ. That's what I'm thinking. To the other side of the USJ. And I forgot to mention this, but the, I was thinking, uh, how would Deku use the Avatar state? When would the first time be? The first time would be during training when he was meditating. Let's say he accidentally entered the Avatar state. And subconsciously, when he was training with Aang, he was in the Avatar state. He started shooting fire everywhere. And earth. A bit of water and some small air uh, blasts. And doing this, he hit... Uh, let's say he hit one of them. It left a scar. It left a bit of a scar on them, but not a bit. Let's say it hit Kirishima. Because in this, let's say Kirishima was just uh, sitting there uh, practicing his metal bending, and he wasn't paying attention, and then he got hit with the water whip. And let's say when Deku threw the water whip, he started freezing the tip of it, and that cut... Kirishima. It barely did that, and eventually Kirishima got Deku stuck in the sand and just held him there. And blah blah blah, we skipped to present day. He, uh, the only ones left are Yamoshi and, uh, and Todoroki. Todoroki is gathering water from the, basically, lake behind him. He's gathering a large amount of water. He's going to try and freeze the Nomu while Yamoshi distracts him. Distracts him. Or distracts it. He's flying in the air. He's shooting small little air blasts. He's trying to do like concentrated slices of air. Eventually, the Nomu gets tired of this and jumps at Yamoshi. Uh, hitting him in the stomach. But it wasn't a strong punch. It was just enough to knock Yamoshi out. And Yamoshi goes flying and... Deku, before Yamoshi hits the ground, does a small little air kick on the ground to soften the blow so he doesn't hit himself. After this, Todoroki starts throwing the water at the Nomu and starts freezing it. The Nomu is stuck in the air, but it slowly starts, the ice slowly starts cracking. And this starts scaring everyone because they see how hard the other, uh, the other five are trying to defeat it. And they're having no avail. Deku hasn't even attacked it yet. And before uh, Deku could think, the Nomu's out. It hits Deku. And now it's just Todoroki versus the Nomu. It hits Deku. Deku goes flying. Let's say he he lands inside the boat. The boat is, the boat is still frozen in the ice, but it's inside the boat. Uh, it's Deku's inside the boat. He's unconscious, and let's say in this moment he's in high. He's in. He has like high emotions of concern and all that, and it, he could die. Everyone around him could die. This is just barely enough to trigger the Avatar state. First, it's water, then it's earth, then it's air and fire. It's like Aang versus uh. Versus uh, Ozai. 
he has a small, he has all those circling around him. And then no one's paying attention because they didn't notice Deku doing that. And before the, what is that? Is that a frog? But before Deku, uh, before the Nomu could react, Deku shoots a powerful uh, wind blast at it before it could even hit Todoroki. That sends the Nomu flying back. Then everyone realizes what happens to Deku. He thinks that Kurishima, Bakugo are dead. Yamoshi's hurt. It was about to attack Todoroki. And basically, he's unleashing havoc upon the Nomu. He set fire, wind. He's doing some small blast of ice. He's even controlling some of the metal that is in the ground to grab the Nomu and hold it down while he attacks. The Nomu eventually goes after Deku, but before it, before the uh, punch connect, the Nomu's hand was torn to shreds by the wind ball surrounding Deku because it's moving at such a high speed. And with this, Deku, uh, Deku encased the Nomu in... Uh, Let's say he encased it in a wind orb. Each time it tried to escape, it would just be hurt. Next, he did fire. He did. He just kept adding more and more fire to it, making it hotter, harder, and hotter, burning the, no the Nomu to a crisp. After this, the Nomu is completely gone. It's dead. Deku passes out because that's the first time he's. That's the second time he's ever gone into the Avatar state. He's passed out, and everyone's wondering what just happened. All Might and them get there. All Might and all the heroes get there at the same time. So, yeah. Uh, and I'm ending it off here.